guys, so I am here at Starbucks and I uh, just met my new friend here, Matt. I wanted to introduce uh, Matt to you guys and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Anything you want to say, by the way? Uh, check out my website, uncovercolorado.com. Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> what, what do you have on the website, by the way? Tourism guide from Colorado, hot springs, ski resorts, ghost towns, amusement parks, anything there is to do, we got it. Who goes to your website? Like, is it tourists or is it locals or... Who, I would I mean, say this website 97% is of the traffic's US. I would say at least half of that's in Colorado. Oh, so this is the, uh, the Gaylord. And I'm about to meet up with, uh, with Cindy real quick. Just waiting for her. She's been working here for a few years. We used to work together with the wine pours. And here she is. And look at this awesome view here. Wow. This is really nice. I fucking love this. Where are we going, Cindy? We're going over to the, um, in the cave. We're in the cave. Alright. Are you mining for anything? Mine. Mine. They have parties in here. Super Bowl TVs on either side. Wow. Yeah. How, do, how do they work? I have no clue. Three thousand pounds. Three thousand pounds? Uh -huh. With like a skeleton, and each branch was put into the tree. Really? Yeah. Wow. How long did it take? It started on a Sunday night at eight, and I got here the next morning at eight o'clock in the morning, so twelve hours. Yeah, the train that just kind of landed here. From California, and it's an actual train that they rolled in on the tracks down here. Yep. And it was put there before they built the whole building. Wow. And they built the building around it. That's incredible. So one of the things I want to talk about before I forget, and I think it's one of the main themes of this video is definitely courage and how to have the courage to, to vlog definitely it's something like that or be behind the camera or even do public speaking whatever it is that might be holding you back from a specific kind of goal so when it comes to when it comes to this kind of stuff many times not only does it hold us back but the whole idea of what people might think of us or, or I don't know, just getting that attention when we don't feel comfortable with it yet definitely can hold us back. But another thing that holds us back is the whole idea of what the hell is going to happen. For example, for me in this case and in what I'm doing, um, honestly, it is definitely a leap of faith in terms of everything that I'm doing from my YouTube channel all the way to... Um, the courses that I'm developing, in fact, I have a goal, and you'll be seeing in some of these blogs, to develop one or two courses. My goal is two courses, but uh, two courses per month. And so I have those goals, but I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I've never done it before, but I see a lot of people um, that are not willing to take a risk like that or to, to really not only step outside their comfort zone, but step outside of the known both in regards to their skill sets, but also in regards to what's going to happen in the future. I mean, definitely nobody really knows what's going to happen, but when you put in those, put yourself in those situations, you feel like you don't know even more. So you feel more insecure about your future, about your financial future, about your, uh, I don't know, whatever it is, your lifestyle or whatever it is that you might be holding on to. <laughs> Thank you.